<laughs> that is a real good one. But I'll tell you what. Now that we're both sitting and getting comfortable, how about you tell me a little bit more about yourself? What's that? No one can hear you because you're dead? Well, that makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this episode of Citizen Meta 1. Today, the developer has added to the simulation the ability for us metahumans to be able to sit down. And I'm going to be taking you through some of the very early features and movement range of motion tests that are possible while sitting in a chair. So first off, I'm in this chair, and when I'm sitting in a chair, I am stationary. I can't really move my feet at all. The feet don't have any animation. They're just going to be there perfectly, and that's fine. But what the developer has added today is the ability to move the upper body like this, which this is new, and this will also come to stationary while standing, but it made especially, it especially made sense for sitting. So I might lose a little bit of face tracking as I move around, but let's go through some of the range of motion tests we have here. So first, I'll put my hands up, we can twist. And this is a very basic twist, it's only on one spine bone, and I have five. So I will distribute this more later, as it makes sense. And I can also lean forward and back, again excuse the loss of face tracking. I probably could have leaned forward more, but I would have hit my phone. And lastly, here is a little bit of side to side leaning. So it's very subtle. I didn't want to have all sorts of like crazy gymnastics moves going on, but basically it's going to allow you to do a little bit of uh, emoting with your upper body too, which makes it feel a little bit more alive in my opinion. You combine this with the gun. And you get an okay upper body simulation with a completely static lower body that looks kind of funny, but it's going to move too eventually. But this is day one being able to sit, and I'm real happy about it. On top of being able to actually sit down, still have an upper body with a little bit more of an expressive uh, upper body torso action going on here, we still have our collisions, which allows me to do very natural motions like this. You would be surprised how hard that is to do with any mocap suit in almost any system, but with this one, it's quite fluid to be able to put your hands on your knees at the same time we have collisions with the chest. Oh, hand freaked out for a second there. It happens. And that is one of the real special things about this system. So not only can I put my hand down on my leg here, which it needs a little bit more mass perhaps, is that I could put my hand on my leg and then move and the hand will stay there and still react eventually slide off but if i put it correctly it should stay even if i'm doing some of the leaning so this is a pretty advanced uh animation if you're going to try to pull this off uh fully animated or in a mocap suit it would be very very difficult to keep your hands planted like this but with a smart system that's running completely in unreal engine we get all the benefits of the physics system well, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, it's pretty cool to be able to sit down finally, and it's gonna allow us to do a lot of lower body poses, even animations if we were to be crawling and whatnot and have control over the upper body. Ha 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 It's been a long day of trying to get this lower body system to work, but I finally got it. 